The Greek island of Santorini has declared a state of emergency. Santorini, a beautiful island in the Aegean Sea, was shaped by powerful volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. The entire history of this eruption, what it did, how it progressed, how violent it was, is recorded here in every layer. Recently, more than 13,000 small earthquakes have been recorded north of the island. This has raised concerns. It's the center of an active volcano. And if you're not sure about that, just look behind me. These fumaroles are telling us that there's plenty of magma beneath our feet. That says this volcano is plenty active. Could this mean the end for Santorini Island? Let's find out. A land created by volcanoes. Santorini's stunning cliffs and deep caldera were formed by a massive eruption around 1600 BC. This explosion destroyed much of the island and caused giant tsunamis. Some experts believe it played a role in the fall of the Minoan civilization on Crete. Before that eruption, Santorini was likely a tall volcano, similar to Krakatoa before its famous explosion. Over thousands of years, layers of lava and ash built up the island. When the eruption happened, the center of the volcano collapsed, creating the caldera we see today. The islands of Theresia, Thera, and Aspronisi are leftover parts of that ancient volcano. Since then, smaller eruptions have created new land. The islands of Nea Kamini and Pelea Kamini formed inside the caldera due to volcanic activity. Scientists keep a close watch on these areas for any signs of future eruptions. What's causing the recent earthquakes? The recent earthquake swarm is happening along the Anadas Fault, between Santorini and Amorgos. These quakes range from shallow depths to about 22 kilometers underground. But does this mean an eruption is near? Santorini is part of the Hellenic volcanic arc, a chain of islands formed by the movement of two huge plates, the African and Eurasian plates. As the African plate moves under the Eurasian plate, it creates pressure leading to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. This process happens in a subduction zone, where one plate sinks beneath another. As the oceanic plate moves deeper, it melts and forms magma. This magma can rise to the surface and cause eruptions. Over time, this has built the volcanic islands of Greece, including Santorini. However, not all earthquakes are signs of an eruption. Many happen because of shifting fault lines. Scientists believe the recent earthquakes are tectonic, not volcanic. This means they come from stress in the Earth's crust, rather than magma moving upward. Could an eruption still happen? Even though these earthquakes are not directly linked to volcanic activity, they could still have an impact on the volcano itself. The movement of shifting faults beneath the surface can alter the pressure in the underground magma chambers. Even small changes in this pressure can potentially affect the behavior of the volcano, leading to increased activity over time. While there are no immediate signs pointing to an impending eruption, scientists are staying vigilant and monitoring the situation closely. The subtle dynamics of a volcano can sometimes be difficult to predict, and that's why ongoing observation is crucial. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. If an eruption were to occur, there are several warning signs we would typically observe beforehand. One of the most common indicators is an increase in gas emissions, particularly sulfur dioxide, which is a key byproduct of volcanic activity. Higher levels of sulfur dioxide in the air often signal that magma is moving beneath the surface and that pressure is building up. Another clear sign is ground swelling, which occurs when magma pushes upward and causes the surface to rise. This physical distortion can often be detected through satellite imagery and ground-based measurements. Special tremors, known as volcanic tremors, are another signal that magma is rising within the Earth. These tremors are different from regular earthquakes because they are directly linked to the movement of molten rock beneath the surface. So far, none of these signs have been observed at Santorini, which means the volcano remains stable for now. However, scientists will continue to monitor these potential indicators closely to ensure early detection if conditions change. Other possible dangers. Even if the volcano remains quiet, the region is still at risk from powerful earthquakes. 
The Aegean Sea sits on a complex system of fault lines, making seismic activity a constant threat. While most tremors are minor, stronger quakes have the potential to cause serious destruction. One of the biggest concerns is the region's steep cliffs and loose rock formations. When the ground shakes, these unstable structures can collapse, triggering landslides that endanger both residents and tourists. Roads could be blocked, buildings damaged, and infrastructure disrupted. Another major risk comes from undersea landslides. If a strong earthquake occurs beneath the water, it could displace massive amounts of rock and sediment, leading to a tsunami. A historical example of this happened in 1956, when a massive earthquake near Amorgos triggered a tsunami that struck the Cyclades. Fortunately, most of Santorini's villages sit high above sea level, reducing the potential for widespread devastation. However, lower-lying coastal areas, both on Santorini and in surrounding regions, remain vulnerable. A powerful underwater earthquake today could still send dangerous waves crashing onto nearby shores, affecting communities far beyond the immediate area. While volcanic eruptions are a major concern, the hidden dangers of earthquakes and tsunamis should not be underestimated. A History of Activity Santorini's volcano is still active, though it has remained relatively quiet in recent years. Scientists closely monitor the caldera for any signs of volcanic unrest, and one key indicator is inflation, a gradual swelling of the ground caused by magma moving beneath the surface. This movement suggests that the volcano is still alive, but it does not necessarily mean an eruption is imminent. Between 2011 and 2012, researchers detected increased seismic activity in the area. Small tremors shook the island, and satellite data confirmed that the ground was rising slightly. These changes indicated that magma was accumulating beneath the volcano. However, despite this activity, no eruption occurred. This demonstrates that volcanic movements do not always result in explosions. Sometimes, magma simply shifts without breaking through the surface. Santorini's volcanic system has a long and complex history, with major eruptions occurring thousands of years apart. The most famous eruption, known as the Minoan eruption, happened around 1600 BCE and had a massive impact on the region. While today's activity is much less dramatic, scientists remain vigilant, studying every change to better understand what the future might hold for this still active volcano. Should you worry? If you live in or plan to visit Santorini, there's no reason to panic. While it's true that the island is an active volcano, scientists are closely monitoring it with a range of advanced tools. They use satellites, seismic stations, and gas sensors to watch for any signs of increased volcanic activity. These technologies are capable of detecting subtle shifts in the island's geological and atmospheric conditions, giving scientists a detailed picture of what's happening beneath the surface. If any significant changes occur, they would be able to detect them early and issue warnings to ensure the safety of residents and visitors. Although 13,000 earthquakes might sound alarming, the vast majority of these are too small to be felt by people. These small tremors are part of the natural, ongoing processes that have shaped Santorini for thousands of years. Earthquakes are common in volcanic areas and usually indicate the movement of tectonic plates or shifting magma beneath the surface. The island's seismic activity is nothing new, and it's a normal part of the volcanic cycle. At present, the risk of a major eruption is very low. Santorini's last major eruption occurred around 3,600 years ago. And while scientists are carefully watching for any signs of a repeat event, there is no strong evidence that a large eruption is imminent. In fact, there's a lot of reassurance in the ongoing monitoring efforts. Should any dangerous signs appear, authorities would be able to act quickly and the world would be informed in a timely manner. Until then, Santorini remains as beautiful, captivating, and safe as ever. Whether you're drawn to its stunning views, rich history, or volcanic features, there's no need to worry. The island continues to be one of the most fascinating places on Earth and its allure remains unchanged. If you enjoyed this topic, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.